Hey Bings, welcome back to my channel. As you know, today we're talking about the best, most powerful crystals for your garden. And as well as crystals, we also talk about on this channel, spirituality, self-development, you know, the crazy things that go on in our mind, in the world, and so much more. So if you're into any of that, be sure to subscribe so you can find my channel just a little bit easier. So to start out talking about crystals, you know, Crystals aren't just a new age spiritual thing. They've been used for thousands and thousands of years by Native Americans and many other cultures around the world. So getting started with our crystals, what are the best ones to use in your garden? The most powerful one I definitely want to suggest to you and you should really have in your collection is simply clear quartz. It's the most versatile. You can literally tell it to basically do anything. It's an energy amplifier so any energy that you put into that crystal it's really going to help amplify that whether you are specific as healing whether you're specific as being fruitful growing big full and luscious and beautiful whatever energy that you put into the crystal and that you dedicate the crystal to to do because it's also important for you to let the crystal know what its job is what how you need its help so whatever you tell it to do it's going to amplify that energy another powerful crystal for your garden is green and venturing. i personally just have a bracelet of it but this is what it looks like it's great at absorbing negativity reducing any stress that the plant goes through so it's really going to aid in uh, reducing transplant shock so green and venturing is really great for if you just pr transplanted a plant into the garden or into a pot in a bigger pot whatever it is to put that green venturing with it to help calm that stress and that transplant shock it's also really great for promoting abundant growth because green adventuring is a crystal of abundance so it's going to help it grow nice great big and full and be very fruitful and abundant the next powerful crystal for gardening that i want to talk to you about is tiger's eye it promotes harmony as well as strong root growth it also promotes success in your garden so again a good harvest it's going to keep your plants healthy and just help them grow big and strong other powerful crystals for gardening include anything that's black so like this big black tourmaline that i have here obsidian or black onyx anything that's black is really going to help because again that's going to help absorb the negative energies that's around it it's going to help protect it and as weird as it might sound black stones can fuse and repel pests so if you have those types of problems in your garden or in your pots in your home definitely pick a, a black stone to put with those to help kind of just confuse and repel pests it sounds weird but it's a thing so try it out if you're getting value out of this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up down below so I can know to keep making more videos like this. If there's other things that you want to learn about in particular, always drop those down in the comments and subscribe for new videos every week. But without further ado, let's talk about how we can actually use these crystals in our garden. Most of us are probably aware that we can just plop them on top, but you can also plant them underneath the soil as well as some of them you can do like under the roots. So if you're putting them in a pot, put your stones in the bottom, put a little bit of soil in there and then put your stone and then put maybe a little bit more soil just to kind of cover it and then put your plant and finish up your potting. Do a little bit of research on the crystal to make sure that it's gonna be okay getting wet and stuff like that. You can also place your stones in bird baths or terrariums, just anywhere in your garden to just kind of be like a decor piece almost. If you have like a bigger piece, even smaller pieces work as that too. Any other like containers, a fairy garden. There's so many ways to utilize crystals in the garden. You can basically put them anywhere. Like larger stones you can use to uh, trace out like a pathway or you can get like big old spheres and make it like a gazing balls. Balls, 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 balls. And there's, it's, crystals are so versatile. That's another reason why I love them so much. If you love to learn about crystals as much as I do, then make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because I do have crystal videos coming out probably every month. So definitely stay tuned for those. If there's any other ways that you have to utilize crystals in the garden, please, please drop those in the comments below so we can all learn and grow together, as well as any other powerful crystals that you've noticed that really work well for you. Drop those down in the comments as well. Until next time, remember to experience your life Feel your emotions, express your emotions, and may your life be full of love.
Thanks for watching, Binks. See you next time.